Good morning, welcome to Washita Mountain Living Podcast. My name is Mike, and it's bright and early. I've been up since 4 a.m., bored, just playing the waiting game. Uh, I'm going to go to Fort Smith today. I'm going to return those two four-foot pieces I got for my countertops because they're not going to work. They are not going to work. The one side where I want to build a cabinet for my stovetop, uh, if I 45 angle that piece of counter, it's only going to be like two foot long on that side. So what I'm going to do, I'm returning them. I'm going to make life easier on myself. I'm going to return those two. I'm keeping the 10 foot long piece. There's nothing wrong with it. It works. It'll go in just fine. Probably won't even have to cut it. And I'm going to return the two pieces that match, and I'm going to buy two four-foot pieces of butcher block. So each end of the cabinets will have butcher block on each end. The butcher block comes in a 30-inch um, width, so I won't have to do any uh, work to the cabinet that is too big. It'll be fine there. And then when I build my new one, that'll give me a lot more workspace for my stove top. I am going to go ahead and cut a hole to drop that stove, uh, the, um, what do you call them? The burner top, the induction burner top inside. That way I can leave the outlet where it is because I was going to have to raise that outlet. But I can leave it underneath the counter and plug it in under there. No mess, no fuss. So I'm going to head back there and exchange them. They better not give me no trouble. I ain't used it. Well, I took the one piece, I set it on the counter, on the cabinet, and I've been, I put my microwave on it to heat up my coffee water and that. But it's clean. They ain't going to know that I've been using it. And then, another reason I want to go is I, this is just going to be like Monday all over again. I'm going to go back to Ollie's because I got this, man. You know, I bought all that flooring. It shot me right up to, you know, elite status in the Ollie's Army. I'm like a five-star general in the Ollie's Army now. I got this. That's too big of a discount to pass up. I don't know what I'm going to get, but garden junk, whatever. I got to get those plants that I've gotten the little terrarium things planted today. So I got to pick up some cups to put those in, some more potting soil. And get that done but man living i tell you what a lot of things we take for granted because we're spoiled today we're not like 1800s people that had nothing that only lived to be 38 years old we're spoiled try living without a kitchen sink for a couple days man you talk about a slap in the face i went to get rooster water this morning i was going to dump out her old water no there's no sink I had to do it in the bathroom. Uh, man, it's it's just hard. I remember when I bought this place, it, uh, putting it in the kitchen was uh, one of the first things. Actually, it really wasn't one of the first things I did, but I was also living in the fifth wheel. So I had a kitchen in there. I had a sink in there, So that and that's where I would prepare my meals. But after I finally decided to go ahead and move in here, I, I knew I had to have a sink because washing, walking them dishes and stuff all the way back to the fifth wheel, that didn't work. So I put a sink in. Uh, it ain't fun to do dishes in the, you know, in the shower or the uh, bathroom sink. The bathroom sink's just a vessel sink and it doesn't have much room. It doesn't drain fast. That is next on the list to get remodeled, but that's going to be down the road is the bathroom. Well, yeah, you got to have a sink, man. And I've got the sink. So by doing that, and it's funny because a, a subscriber commented on, on uh, my Dogman channel, uh, that very same suggestion. And I'd already thought of that. And so I got on Lowe's website, and I'm looking. It's probably twice the price of those two four-foot Formica counters I got. But, man, they're nice. You know, I love Butcher Block. Uh, with the butcher block, I won't really have to do any major thing to the existing counter, and then I can go ahead and build my new counter for the stovetop um, 
you know, I'll just go by the measurements of whatever I buy. So I, I haven't been there yet. Um, but I'm going to leave. i got to wait. I've been feeding those puppies about 8 in the morning. So, I mean, there's no point in leaving. I don't even know what time, if they're open 24 hours or what. But no sense in leaving until I feed them. And I don't drive in the dark anyway. So, going to be doing that today. I'll lose... I won't lose much of a day. Of, you know, I'll, I'll get home in time to probably get some things done. But the reason I want to do the kitchen first before I do the floor is because if I, you know I'm building a cabinet, so I really want that cabinet, the cabinets in place before I do the floor. Why? Why put flooring where the cabinets? You know, and I could just pat, uh, leave that part out. But I don't really know what I'm building yet. So go ahead. We'll go ahead and do the kitchen first and then move on to that but yeah you know certain things we have in our homes if you take them away uh it's it puts a big dent in your routine um and i try i've been trying to just use paper plates and things like that but some things you like i made popcorn last night you can't put popcorn on a paper plate so i had to mess up a bowl um, I made hamburgers the other day. I've been cooking out on the grill because I don't, I don't have a stove either. All I have is my microwave, but you can't eat microwave food every day. Uh, it's expensive and it's not good for you. So I cooked out a couple days worth of burgers. Those are gone now. And it's just, what is that? Oh, my printer. Those printers are stupid. I printed a, that, that out 15 minutes ago. Now it's making some noise. So, yeah, I cooked that on the grill, but you got to use a plate once in a while. Man, them burgers, them flimsy paper plates weren't holding my burgers. I'm going to tell you, they're beggings. And I used that little bitty grill I have, so I could only get like four patties on there, but they were thick. But those are gone now. So I need to get that, the counters done. That's another reason. I mean, I I just, I'm not going to go weeks and weeks with no way to heat up water or, you know, cook anything on a stovetop or have a sink. So we're going to get that in this weekend. The whole kitchen should be done. The new sink up and running. That's going to be nice. New faucet, new everything. It's got that sprayer on it. So that's going to be nice to have. And I don't know what I need in Ollie's. But I'm, hey, man, 30% off and it expires on April 10th. See there? I got to go do it. That's that's a good, good piece of money off of something. There's probably a limit on it. I don't have my glasses. Oh, that don't work at all. Man, no. All right. So, I ordered a, was looking for a lens filter for the Eclipse for my camera. Didn't really find anything that was, I mean, the cheapest thing I found for the, for the DJI, which is this camera, was 50 bucks. I'm not spending 50 bucks on a 50% chance that I will be able to film the eclipse because I already looked ahead. They're already predicting weather, uh, rain. But yeah, with the DJI, you can't do this with a GoPro, but the DJI, the lens will come off. And they do give you uh, some other lens options, but they're not, the filters aren't strong enough for uh, to film an eclipse. So what I ended up ordering, it was like 20 bucks. I'll probably ever, never use them again. Is like four inch by four inch square. It's a filter. So I'm going to rig up something to maybe set ahead of the camera where that will film through. So we'll see how that works. Otherwise, I don't care. The Eclipse, I heard there's thousands of people coming here for that. Man, it don't excite me that much. I, you know, yeah, I know the last one hasn't happened since 1970, and I'll never see another one again like this, but may not see this one. If it's cloudy, it's all, all these people did all that traveling for nothing. 
but they're going to do it. So I'm going to make sure I got everything I need from the grocery store that day. Because uh, they're going to probably wipe every grocery store out. And I know all the hotels. They're going to be across the street from me. Because that Bluegrass Park is renting out places for $300 a night. And I bet they're going to get a bunch of people. So I'm going to have to deal with them. But I got my own. I should charge admission to come up in my yard and film. Because it's right over the dog yards where the sun's going to be. I don't know exactly what time of day it'll be. But, you know, I'll have a, I'll have a clear shot of it. My fa place faces north and south. I mean exactly north and south and exactly east and west. And to the west of me, there's really no mountains block. Well, actually, to the east, there's no mountains. Because we are in a... There's mountains on the north of me and the south of me. We're in a valley. So the east and the west, there's no... Nothing blocking the view. And during, you know, during the day, the sun's up pretty high. And I remember I got the last one. Um, it was pretty cool. I had a welding mask. I was sitting there watching it, but I wasn't filming anything then. So anyway, guys, uh, yeah, I haven't really done a lot of work the last two days. Just kind of, when you get in that mode where you're working every day, and, and I was putting in some hours, you just got to take a couple days off. And, and I'm glad I did. Gave me time to rethink the kitchen situation. And I think the butcher box will look nice on the end. I'm still going to have the new counter, the 10-foot piece, but then on the ends, it's going to have a really nice butcher box solid wood no cheap stuff and it, you know use it for cutting boards and then the piece that i cut out for the stove top i'm going to make a cutting board out of i'll put it on the laser engraver and make a cutting board out of it so that nothing will go to waste there and it, it's just going to look the reason i want to cut the hole out and put it down in is because it's kind of awkward when it's at 36 inches high which is a standard countertop and standard stove uh, range top uh, height it's just a little too high you know you're it's not what I'm used to so I want to go ahead and drop it in I can even keep that cutting board piece the piece I cut out to where I can reinstall that if I want to just get rid of the pull the oven out but I don't I don't see myself needing that much counter space so it ain't gonna be a big deal all right we will see you guys on the next one. Happy trails.